As part in the health sector say about 122 million Nigerians are at risk of getting one of the neglected tropical diseases. Lamenting the high rate of NTDs uh, nationwide, they identified poor funding by government, inadequate logistics for the NTDs program, as well as insecurity in some local government areas as main challenges of tackling the disease. According to the stakeholders, Nigeria contributes 40% of the NTDs body globally and carries roughly 25% African modern. Our correspondent Lida Ike has details in this report. Neglected tropical diseases are a group of 20 disease conditions that are common in tropical or subtropical regions. NTDs affect the poorest population living in poverty, inadequate sanitation, lack of soft water source, substandard housing condition, and deficient healthcare access. Neglected tropical diseases receive less attention than other diseases. Some of these communicable diseases include lymphatic filariasis, soil transmitted hemitiasis, oncocytiasis, trachoma, amongst others. NTDs affect every state in Nigeria and they are difficult to cure. Speaking at a two-day media dialogue on neglected tropical disease control in Nigeria, organized by UNICEF in collaboration with the Child Rights Information Bureau, Federal Ministry of Information and Culture, experts said funding remains the challenge for control of NTDs in Nigeria. The advocates canvass the revitalization of the NTD structure, health education, and awareness creation in tackling the diseases so as to reduce poverty in the country. They also identify the causes of some of NTDs and highlighted preventive measures. It is just the disease that, like I rightly said, is common among the poor income earners and is common among the rural dwellers more than in the urban centers that in Nigeria we've been able to identify about 15 of these uh, trop neglected tropical diseases but the and we have been working with the support of our donor agencies and partners with the government's uh, position to ensure that we eliminate diseases we have a strong control of diseases that is why the only challenge that we have in the country is that a lot of people are not aware they are living with these diseases compared to the awareness that we created for malaria, the uh, awareness we created for uh, tuberculosis and uh, HIV. Even the awareness that we have so far now for COVID-19 is even at way awareness that we have for neglected tropical diseases. Yet people are living with it and they end up becoming a nuisance to the society. You see some of them with this uh, disability in the street begging. Especially those with lymphatic filariasis, baking. But we have done a lot of interventions so far, and we are working to be sure that we've been able to eliminate these uh, diseases. And we are funding, but the funding is not enough. And that is why we are calling press to join to advocate for more and more funding. That is the challenge that we're having as a country. Uh, lymphatic filariasis is caused by the transmission of mosquitoes. It's mosquito that carries the parasite from one infected person to another through uh, blood meal. Blood meal is like a mosquito looking for food to eat. And particularly it's uh, uh, female uh, anopheles and coolex mosquitoes. Of course, they bite us not because they want to the blood sucker. They want their protein. Protein. You and me would like to eat proteinous food. Uh -huh. They too want protein. The protein will help them to fertilize their eggs. And that is why they bite us. Now, when they bite you, remember, mosquitoes don't go to the toilet. They don't pee. So the only way they pass out their waste is when they bite you. They vomit, first of all, whatever is their waste into your body to give them room to draw fresh blood. Now, when they draw fresh blood, the fresh blood that they draw may contain the parasite of this lymphatic filariasis. But incidentally, the parasite does not die in the mosquito. The mosquito body forms another level of development for the parasite. So when they go to another person to bite another person, since the parasite does not die, they vomit it back into the next person and suck in fresh blood. Uh, but we are also um, you know, trying to um, 
engage the policymakers. Uh, as you know, uh, NTDs, they are neglected <coughs> tropical diseases. They are actually neglected by everybody. Um, the populists are not aware uh, of uh, NTDs. Most people don't even know uh, what is called uh, trachoma. Most people don't even know what is called oncosarcasis. Most people don't know what is called lymphatic filariasis and then uh, cystosomiasis. Uh, so now we want to bring this knowledge um, to everybody. And that's why we are engaging the media today. So that when you give out your report, you can now know that uh, this is called neglected tropical diseases. And we also wanted to have the knowledge of how it impacts on the economy of this um, country. You heard when the National Coordinator was telling us that when people are sick, they don't go to work, and children are not doing well, they cannot, you know, the mothers especially cannot go to work. So it reduces their level of productivity, and this has a very drastic impact on the economy of uh, the, the, the country. So, you know, uh, at first, the local economy, and then um, as we <laughs> put all this together, it affects the national economy. So UNICEF is trying to ensure that all this is, uh, is, uh, is addressed. Okay, but it's much more important now for the government to show the, res the, responsibil the responsibilities of providing overarching coordination of all the interventions in Nigeria. And that will mean uh, probably the federal government now um, funding evaluation and you know, whether it is entomological or epidemiological, whether it is assessment, we want, and then we'll also be happy if the government begins to fund uh, mass administration of medicine. Uh, the medicines are donated free of charge by the U.S. government, and UNICEF is providing certificate to ensure that we don't pay. Also, definitely we want the government to show that the responsibility of making sure that people use the drugs. The stakeholders, however, stress the need for governments at all levels to release 0.5 percent of their annual budget for the implementation of NTD's critical activities to enhance sustainable economic development. Linda, EK, MITV News.